Hello guys and welcome to the 21st episode <laughs> of Zombicide and um, which hopefully we manage to get this last objective that's up the back here because all hell is breaking loose Amy's dead, well Amy's bleeding to death whether or not we actually manage to save her all depends on the actions of the survivors today if they manage to do this without getting anybody else hurt then there's a possibility that, you know, Amy's just mortally wounded and just needs a bit of healing, which she'll get. If not, then we're going to have our first ever vote between who lives and who dies. So, without further ado, we're going to get <clears throat> people on with their game. So, um, Josh was first player last time, now it's back to Ned. So, uh, Ned has Cherry, a machete, and an SMG. Now, he's not going to shoot in that room because that would be very dangerous and very silly. So, he has three rolls of the dice because of his doggy. Uh, is it three, actually? Two dice. Sorry. That still gets three. And he kills one of them. One is better than none. As the saying goes. But that was his free combat action, because he has a free one. So his second action, he kills two more. And then his third action... Uh, sorry, second action. He fails. His third action. He kills one more. And then for his fourth and final action, they're going to try again. And I just realised there's runners in there, so we're going to take one of the runners. Because I'm an idiot and didn't double check. Because as you can see, I am not filming this at the normal time I would because my camera almost ran out of battery. Because normally I film these all at the same time, but I didn't get to do it this time. Sorry, guys. So now that Ned's has his turn, it's Wanda's turn. Now, Wanda only has a shotgun. So this is the possibility that people start dying. Because all Wanda can do is shoot people. Now, she does have slippery. So... We're going to be a little bit cheeky. We're going to zoom out. Actually, we're going to... Uh, one, two, three. And that leaves her with one final action in the next room there to shoot at the other zombies. Which she fails. But she's out of that room and hasn't shot anyone in the face. Okay, which moves us on to Doug. Now, Doug is the one that gets three dice. Uh, four dice, actually, because he has moved. And the katanas. And he kills those last two in there, which is good. And that was his free combat action. So, he could win this for us, but I'm going to make a little bit of a, a script. So, let's say that they've been carrying around Amy, because, you know, you're not going to leave her there. For the sake of the story, they've got Amy slung over their shoulders. Phil's got her slung over his shoulder. And he's got, they've got to get into that house, barricade the door, and clear it out. So they're not going to go for the objective straight in. So, his second action is to move in here. His third action is to move into there, and his fourth action is to swing and kill two, of which he decides to kill the fatty. Because you know when you can choose, why don't you choose? Okay. And that means it's Phil's turn. Now Phil is back up here, carrying Amy. So they go, one, two. <clears throat> no, 
Now Phil has plenty of ammo, so if he shoots and hits Doug, he can reroll. So he's going to use his sawn off shotgun, shoot that final zombie in that room. He's going to reload, leave Amy where she is and move back to this room. Okay, and now it ends with Josh. He goes, one. And then he's going to use his last three using some rules. Whoopsie, sorry guys. Sorry. <laughs> using some rules from season two, which I don't have yet myself, but I have played. He barricades that door up there closed with his last three remaining actions. So unless any zombies are right there and get an extra activation, they're okay in that house for now. Okay? But that does mean that the zombies all down here get to try and come and eat them. So. There are two runners. Oh, there are several runners in here. Making their nasty little way towards our heroes who are trying to hold out for as long as their life can... You know, as long as they can, because that shit's what they do. To be fair, that's what anyone does in this, this kind of situation, I believe. Um, or at least, I'd like to believe. <laughs> okay. And now we go back to the drawing of the cards. card the first. Uh, we're in orange so there is a runner. Just one. Card number two. Have three walkers. Card number four. Sorry, three. I can't count is two fatties. Whoopsie. Okay. And finally, six walkers. Right, we're out of walkers, guys. All bar one of mine that is currently in the paint box is on the board. So if they don't, which they should do, manage to get this token, because it's Wonder Lady's turn, and she goes into her ro that room up there, and finally picks up that extra token. So they did it, guys. They're all alive. They're all okay. And we did it. Sorry for the shortness of the episode, um, I couldn't do it in 20 minutes last time and apparently I can only do it in 10 this time. So, thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I know it was short, I know it was sweet and I know that um, it could have been done better, but we have finished, we have succeeded and although it came close, we have not lost anybody this turn. Well, this game, any of the characters this turn. We've lost dogs, unfortunately but not characters. And I will see you next time, guys. Take care, goodbye, and have fun.